Okay. So, uh, welcome to all of my Bilhaba students. So, now I will discuss the uh, remaining part of the unit 2 that is the cleaning and sanitation of their equipments. This is the very, very important. So, previously I have explained the different, different equipments and their functions and their mechanisms like pasteurization, homogenization, clarification, filtration, butter making equipments, cheese making equipments, ice cream making equipments, and lots of things. Okay. So today, now our primary function, primary work is that in the every industry, when you prepare some products, when you um, prepare some um, different, different type of products. So after finishing your work, you have to last work, this is the cleaning purpose and sanitation purpose because it is a very, very important. Uh, when you did not clean very sincerely, so somehow there may be growth of or chances of contamination that is the microbial growth can be happen because mold, yeast mold that is the very, very uh, important bacteria in the food industry and they can grow easily if proper sanitation is not done. So this is a very important. So there is a lots of methods, lots of uh, technique is the sanitization and cleaning. So first of all, you have to know what is the sanitization and what is the sterilization. Sorry, what is the sanitization and what is the uh, disinfectant or, or the, what is called the uh, <coughs> uh, sterilization process. Okay, so sanitization and sterilization both are objective is same. That is the you have to retain the growth of microbial organisms. But when we, we use sanitation process, basically we use the uh, some chemicals to restrict the growth of microorganism and sterilization is the basically you will know there is the heat treatment process. So now the equipment and containers are desired to be physically clean, dry, smooth surface and free from dirt and unsafe bacterial load to prevent occurs, occurrence of any sort of food and healthy hazard in milk and its product during the handling and processing. Execution of cleaning and sanitation by using improper methods, metal and frequency may result hazardous because of the presence of a residual frozen material, chemical or detergent or oil or grease and excessive microbial loads in foods. That's why we use the cleaning, purpose, cleaning and sanitation process. So now definition of cleaning is the process in which unwanted matters including food poisoning and spoilage microorganisms are removed to prevent contamination of product. Sanitation reduces the microbial loads of clean surface to a level which is considered to be safe for handling and processing of dirty and food products. Cleaning without sanitation is meaningless. Both terms are comparatively and supplementary to each other. Now the methods, uh, <coughs> lots of methods are basically uh, basically, there is the manual method, the manual cleaning it is the removal of soil by scrubbing manually with detergent solution following by water rinsing. All you want know that. In, pla in place cleaning, in place cleaning is mostly popular known as CIP. That is the cleaning in place. This is the very, very important. So in cleaning in place, it is the equipment including that is the pipelines with water and detergent solution without dismelting. A minimum fluid velocity of 1.5 meter, uh, meters per second with the turbulent flow is required for effectively cleaning. Basically, in cleaning place is done. Basically, there is the two steps, um, five steps and seven steps, seven steps. Okay. So I will discuss later. Now, low pressure, high volume spray in this method, cleaning water and or detergent solution is applied in large volume at, at pressures up to approximately 6.8 bar or kg per squ uh, square meters and high pressure low volume spray we, we can use. Now foam cleaning detergent solution in the um, form of foam is applied and remaining in the contact for 15 20 minutes over the surface and the, then it is rinsed off with the water spray. And the washing machines, uh, there, is a, there are containers like milk cans, carters and bottles, uh, carrot or bottle etc. Uh, which are commonly used in the dairy industry. The large is number and smaller in size make manual cleaning of these items quite extensive, labor oriented. That's why uh, this container could be easily and effectively cleaned by special designed washing machines. The machines perform cleaning procedures as above with the addition of disinfectants by hot water rinse. 
at the completion of the cleaning cycle, cycle in dairy plants for in types of washing machinery use. That is the can washer, bottle washer, and can washer. When you visit in dairy industry, you can show the can washer and bottle washer and can washer. Where, where we can use basically hot water or uh, or some um, alkaline water. But that is the that's called caustic caustic waters. We can use here. Okay. Now we will discuss the very very important topic that is the CIP and cleaning in place because in every beverage industry or dairy industry CIP is the very very important okay so there is the five steps and seven steps CIP is done in every industry so basically here we use basically hot waters and acid that is the nitric acids and the caustic we can use as a CIP reagent now Take cleaning and soft water the required quantity of each CIP tank that is the cool hot water detergent and acid and sanitizer tank. So maintain and concentration and temperatures of, uh, of each tanks for this the tank should be fitted with the temperature and pH indicators and this CIP can done automatically or manually. As soon as processing is over flush the uh, equipment container process circuit switch cleaned and soft cool water so that residual milk or milk product come out. So this is the first step of the CIP process is the when your production is over you have to clean just soft water just uh, flash out and drain out the water. After flushing is over pre rinse with the clean water at normal ambient temperature for 10 minutes for losing the adhere milk or milk product come out. Now circulate detergent solutions of 0.521% concentrations and maintain recirculation for temperature 70 to 75 to temperature for 25 to 30 minutes or these are the CIP design. Now circulate hot waters uh, maintain at 80 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes if required to remove water scale and um, milk stone by circulating acid solution of 0 0.5 to 1 uh, or a deci decided of the CIP program to of dairy at 60 to 70 degrees centigrade temperature for 25 to 30 minutes. Usually acid circulation is done at certain set intervals say one week or fortnight periods. And therefore, skip this step in the daily or routine CIP. If acid is circulated, then rinse the bicirculation water at ambient temperature for 10 minutes and then again circulate the detergent solution for 25 30 minutes. Then flush with hot water for 10 minutes, then circulate hot waters. So, basically, this is step. So, so, we can now accumulate it first. Okay. So, first of all, we have to use the normal waters. Okay. Then it is flush. Then we can apply hot waters okay and the temperatures maintain uh, around 75 to 80 temperature for 5 to 10 minutes after that we can use the caustic and it will it will be recirculated or machines for 25 30 minutes then then we can apply the hot water to remove the caustics and acid may be used uh, weekly once or weekly to weekly twice or when we start the uh, when you start the production, so before production, before you start the production, you have to clean by acid solutions. Then you can prepare your uh, product. Okay. So thank you very much. So all our notes, all our uh, discussion is already uploaded in your website. So please go through and download it. Okay. So thank you.